Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have seen the two implementations, the two ways of implementation that is inline event listener we have seen it and also the inline properties also we have seen it. Now the third one, the last one which we need to learn right now is the event listener. So this is the last one which we need to learn it. So what? So event listener. So this is the last two way implementation. So let's try to see it. So this is also very simple. So it requires the HTML and JavaScript, both HTML and JavaScript. So here we will be writing a button. So I am closing this button. So here you will be having like this. The implementation will be in such a way that. So we need to take the button. Same thing. BTN is equal to document dot query selector. We can take it like this. So document dot query selector of button. So we can catch it like this. And the last one is so here we need to add btn dot so there is a method available for us which is provided by the dom api so add event listener so it takes two arguments so first one is the the type of event so whether it is a click or click event or mouse or event like that so here the next one is the handler event handler so there is nothing but let's say that method so this is the method and at the bottom you will be mentioning the method hello world so you can write whatever the thing you want alert hello world okay hello world that's it so this is the method we will be implementing so this is how we will be having the inline event listener. so don't get confused about this one we will discuss we will be having love we will be learning more and more lot and lot about this add event listener so we'll try to learn it so this is how we'll be doing so here we are having a button in the html and we will be taking this query selector element node and for this element mode where there is a method available which is made available by the dom api that is dot add event listener so it will take two arguments one is the event event type click and also the another one is the callback function so this function is nothing but a javascript function and it will have a block of code which needs to be executed so that's it so let's try to implement the practical way so here we are having a button right so we get we capture the document and query selector of button also so now let's try to take button element dot add event listener so first one is the click and the next one is the method method reference so yeah here we have the method so now we need to implement the method function hello world so here this hello world you can write hello world hello from leela webdo or something like this that's it so now we have we have a button capture the button we have added event listener so which listens to the click event and hello world so if you try to see the output for this one so let's try to refresh this page and if you click here see we are able to see hello from leela webdo that's it so this is all about the inline event listener so this is how we can see about the event listener add event listener so this is provided by the dom api so what is the benefit of using this one so the benefit of using this one is you can also add another event listener for the same button element also so here i can add hello world 2 and i can have another one hello 2 and 2 from leela webdo so if you try to see the output the same output for this one so if you try to see here if i, click, if I refresh this page so hello world and also if i click ok and also we are able to see another alert box also so this is the benefit of this one so you can attach as many event listeners as you want for a single button element so this is the benefit of this one so this is all about the event listener we have learned all the three ways of the event listener first one is the on click okay here we using the on click and the second implementation is the like this button element like property so i have shown you the property is equal to like this so you can call it okay so like this we have called it so now we need to understand that which one is the better approach so using the inline event listener is the better approach or inline property is the better approach or add add event listener method is the best approach so which one you will be suggesting so that that is the thing which we would learn to learn so we have seen about the three types three ways to add an event listener right so now what I can say is although the add event listener method is the most preferred way to add an event listener to a window or a document or any other element in the DOM. 
so we are also seen that is not the only way right so we are although so what the people will say is add event listener is the most preferred way to add an event listener so but also we have seen the other ways also that is nothing but inline event listener and also the inline property also so let's try to see one by one which is the better approach first one is the inline event listener so we have seen about the inline event listener so inline event listener so this is the basic way so this is the basic way to add an event listener to the dom by using the on click attribute this involves adding an attribute to an element but please don't use this method it can it can get the code pretty messy pretty quickly so that is the thing i can i can tell you so inline event listener is not the best method okay so this is not the best method so i will tell you that don't use this method so don't use this method what is that one inline event listener so next one is the event properties by using the event properties for the element so this works very similar to the event listener inline event listener only but there but uh, here we set the attribute or property of an element via javascript so we will say we will set it in the inline properties so that means event properties or inline properties whatever the name it may be so here we will set the attribute through javascript okay through javascript although it is a slight improvement to the above but this is also not the best approach so this is also not the not best approach so this one i can say so the last method which we have learned right now the latest one is the add event listener method so now we are talking about the, uh, the event listener right so this is the newest type of an event mechanism defined in the dom level 2 event specification this approach attaches a method to a dom element rather than attaching an attribute much better so this one is much better what i can say add event listener so this is the better approach which we want to use it so the last one which i have explained you right now add event listener so this is the better approach you can use this better uh, this if, this method so final thing what i can tell you is you can add event listeners to any dom object this means that the dom object need not necessarily to be an html element that is you can also add event listener to the window object also so we have discussed the three ways to add event listener to the dom the best approach is the add event listener method so that is the thing which i want to tell you okay so out of these all the things now what you understood so inline event listener is not the best approach so it is so i i would say that i would say that don't use this method okay but there is a method available just i want to explain you that is the reason i have explained you but i will tell you that don't use this method and the next comes is the similar way approach but slightly improvement it is there but this is also not the best approach if you want you can use it not a problem but this is also not the best approach and the last one which i want to tell you is the add event listener so this is this comes under the dom level 2 specification so this is the this is the uh, latest one and this is the most recommended one which we need to use for attaching the event listeners to an element so you can attach it to not only to the element anywhere to window object to document object wherever you want you can attach it so that is what i want to tell you hope you understood about the three ways of adding the event listeners if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you